Liberty Me, here with Professor Matt Zielinski. He's a professor of philosophy at San Diego University and a contributor to Learn Liberty and Bleeding Heart Libertarians. Uh, thanks so much, Matt. Yeah, it's great to be here, Kyle. I'm, I'm looking forward yeah, to the conversation. To here, I took part in a, uh, a wonderful virtual reading group uh, from Students for Liberty on just the fantastic Robert Nozick and his text, Anarchy, State, and Utopia, one in which uh, you moderated. Uh, yeah. I just wanted to say uh, everyone should sign up for these, and uh, Matt's was fantastic. I mean, it's just, it's a wonderful text, and it is not necessarily taught, but discussed in a way that really allows everyone to flesh out the ideas. So, so everyone should check out those virtual reading groups. Uh, one of the most interesting things that came from that, one of the most interesting theories, I think, of anarchy, state, and utopia is Nozick's state of nature theory, or how to back into a state without really trying. Uh, you know, let's discuss that. So a lot of libertarians think that we should have private defense firms. I'm inclined to agree. I would rather deal with a lot of contract or mall cops, basically, than, <laughs> than the idea of, you know, a gigantic, um, well, what, what cops are today or what, what right. law enforcement is today. It's, it's gotten out of hand. I think, you know, anyone that's, that's read Rodley Balco knows that. Uh, but Nozick suggests that there are very easy ways for private security forms to become a state. In fact, there are very easy ways for a lot of institutions to become a state. Yeah, well, uh, so, so thanks for yeah, the kind well, words about the reading group. I, I enjoyed that quite a bit, too. And uh, my understanding is that Students for Liberty is uh, dramatically expanding that program. So I think Jeff Tucker is running one uh, right now on, uh, on Isabel Patterson's book, uh, The God and the Machine. Few others going on as well, and um, so I, I would second your recommendation for everybody to apply. I, I, I'd like to participate in some of the ones that are going on right now. Uh, yeah, the Nozick one was great, um, and I just I just finished teaching uh, Nozick's book again in my in my class, so uh, all this stuff is fresh on my brain. Um, it's a really interesting argument. This whole part one of Anarchy, State, and Utopia is about anarchy. Right? The book kind of follows this pattern, um, and um, it's essentially designed as a kind of refutation of the Rothbardian anarchist position, which is that uh, we eliminate the state and then people's um, defensive needs are provided through uh, private companies. He calls them these mutual protection associations uh, where you, you go and you, you sign up for a certain package of protection. Uh, and uh, uh, and then uh, you you get it uh, from from a business uh, just as as people get auto insurance or cellular phone service. Um, Nozick's intriguing argument in in part one of the book is that uh, if you start in a state of nature, right, a state without any government, um, and you you get these mutual protection agencies emergency emerging. Uh, to meet people's protective needs, that you can, um, by a series of morally permissible steps, go from a competitive situation of uh, a variety of different mutual protection associations to a minimal state, right? The, the kind of minimal state of libertarian theory where you've got uh, government providing for the protection of individuals' negative rights, uh, but nothing more, no redistribution, no provision of public goods, uh, and so forth. Um, so he thinks you can get this kind of invisible hand explanation of the state such that starting with these mutual protections, one agency claiming a monopoly of legitimate force over a geographical area and providing protective services to all individuals who fall within that geographical area. It's a really fascinating, it's a really fascinating, if, if, not, uh, if not more, uh, tangents that are just, I mean, really fascinating in their own right, apart from any contribution they make to the overall argument. This is the part of the book where he, he talks about the experience machine. Uh, it's the part of the book where he presents um, which is kind of a good thing because uh, most people, uh, myself included, are of the opinion that the main line of argument in that first section of the book uh, just doesn't work. So it, it, it makes us w wonder about our definition of what a state is, first right. of all. 
And it also reminds us of how easy it is for something to become an, a monopoly. How easy it is for something to become a monopoly. I mean, just look at money, right? It's, it's about ease of use more yeah. than it is really about control. Yeah. It's easier to have one currency as a unit of exchange than it is to barter everything. And so it would make sense to follow that it's easier to have one protection agency than 50 within one state, perhaps, or, you know, um, a, a network of even uh, multiple security firms. Yeah, well, I'm not so sure. Uh, I'm, I'm not an anarchist myself, but, uh, but I think Nozick actually overstates this, the case for monopoly uh, in this early part of the book. So the, the, the way the story starts is that you, you had these various mutual protection associations, and uh, after a while, there emerges uh, from this, this set of mutual protection associations what Nozick calls a dominant protection association. So this is a, a, a protection association that, um, you know, association emerge? Well, because uh, suppose there are a bunch of different protection associations and you're a client of one and I'm a client of the other. If we get into some kind of dispute, um, we want our associations to have some easy way of resolving that dispute uh, in, a, in a peaceful manner so that it's not too uh, expensive um, or, or, or violent. Um, and that's easier if um, we belong to uh, either the same uh, association, we're both subscribers to the same company, or um, if at least work of accepted rules for resolving disputes. So Nozick, I think, kind of thinks of mutual protection associations as uh, involving what we would now call network externalities, right? So how good your protection association is depends not merely upon the intrinsic qualities of that association. It also depends on how many other people are members of that same association. It's like Facebook versus Google Plus, right? Google Plus might be a better platform. Uh, I don't know because I hardly ever use it because all of my friends are on Facebook, right? And that's part of what makes Facebook a kind of natural monopoly emerging in protection markets uh, because of this network character of, of protection goods. But I actually think that... Uh, um, uh, Nozick makes a mistake here in assuming that you'll get something resembling a monopoly emerging from that process. Um, I mean, again, think of cellular phones, right? Uh, cellular phones involve a kind of network externality, too. Um, you want to be able to talk uh, to other people with your cellular phone, and you want to be able to talk to people who uh, you know, aren't merely subscribed to other cellular phone services as well. And so it benefits you as a customer and it benefits the cellular phone companies as people who are catering to customers to involve themselves in a kind of network where they're all using the same communication protocols, right? You're able to talk to whoever you want and not just other customers of the same company. All of that is tremendously beneficial, right? But you don't get a monopoly, right? You don't get anything close to a monopoly in cellular phone services because you know, it's, it's, the, the competitive uh, uh, nature of the business is such that um, it's, it's beneficial to have different companies competing against each other. Different clients want different kinds of things from their cellular phone customer companies, so they look uh, and shop around on the basis of their, their diverse preferences. And I don't see any reason to believe that things would be any different in the case of protection. People want different things when it comes to protection. Some people want are mainly concerned about protection from, say, uh, small street-level crime. Other people, maybe businesses, might be more interested in the enforcement of contracts or the protection of trade secrets. Uh, so it's not obvious you're going to get one single monolithic firm uh, emerging out of that market. Sure. I, I would just hope that what we can take from Nozick's argument there is to be critical about what we view as the state, whether it be uh, private or public or, you know, obvious government oppression. There are many ways for state-like apparatus to emerge and to oppress individuals. appreciate about Nozick's argument is that when, when you get the state, 
with Nozick, right? When we've when we've finished part one and we've uh, the the, the uh, minimal state has emerged through this uh, emergent process and the state of nature, what you've got there is still just a business <laughs> on Nozick's view, right? I mean, it's a corporation, uh, and primarily it's a corporation in the business of providing services to its paying customers. So there's no taxation uh, at this point. People are still paying uh, for their services on a voluntary basis. Um, uh, there is a monopoly on the use of force, which is what Nozick thinks is one of the distinctive uh, characteristics of a state. Um, but it's, you know, basically a business. And I think, you know, most most libertarians don't think of uh, of states and businesses as the same kind of thing. And one of the values of, of this part of Nozick's book is, I think, maybe, as you said, to challenge that assumption. Sure. I mean, it's an interesting insight uh, among a sea of interesting insights from Nozick and indeed uh, from you, Matt Zwinski. Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, I know you have somewhere you need to be, but uh, I appreciate you taking the time out to be here and uh, it's been fantastic. Yeah, it was a real pleasure for me too, Kyle. Thanks. Yeah.